Hey everyone, Joe Moffat here with Master Life by Design and today I wanted to come at you guys with something just really simple yet powerful and this is a must watch video if you want to be highly productive for the week ahead. Before we jump in though, I do want to give a shout out to Matt Levette, a new subscriber on the channel. Thank you Matt, we appreciate you and thanks for reaching out on Instagram and connecting with you. You are an awesome person. All right, before we jump into the video and give you all the goods and the greats and everything like that, I just wanna say Bitcoin and Ethereum are just like going through the roof right now. I know it's a little bit downward trend on today, but I'm telling you, I'm heavily invested in Ethereum. I'm not giving financial advice, but I do wanna just say Ethereum's looking good, Bitcoin's looking good, there's a lot of micro caps that are looking good. In fact, I even asked my community on Facebook, like we have a community Facebook page, um, I asked him, I said, who who here tri trades crypto? And so looking to put a group together locally so we can hang out, connect, and um, you know share some wisdom with each other. So anyway, with that, I wanted to share, it's Sunday, uh, October 17th right now, and I wanted to give you this tidbit because what I've been seeing for a pattern for people out there who want to get ahead, like these high performing entrepreneurs, they go and they kick butt, but sometimes they don't kick butt as much as they want, is they're missing the foundations, they're missing the basics, right? And today, I want to keep this video short and sweet. If you want to be highly productive for this week, do not go into Monday or stop if you're watching this on Monday and stop and write down what are your outcomes for that day. What are your outcomes for Monday? And most importantly, what are your outcomes for the week? Because this is going to say, this is the bullseye for you to hit, right? Like you gotta have that target for you to hit. If you don't know where it, what target you're hitting, you're just gonna spray and pray and hope you're productive in some way. And I'm not trying to be Dr. Seuss and just having fun rhyming, but. Um, so you gotta know what that target is. I can't tell you how many times people I'm like, okay, cool. What do you? What is your most important outcome for the week? What do you like? What's the one thing that you got to hit for the week? They're like, um, uh, I'm like, you don't even know, right? Like, I can tell already. They have no clue. They have not identified it. And so, how are you ever going to hit something if you don't achieve? If you don't have it a ident uh, target identified? So you got to know what that is. But once you know what it is, is it in your calendar? Like most of the times, most people, they don't even go on, they don't have their calendar. They can't look and say, okay, here's here's what I got planned this time, this time, this time. It's like they just, they just roll with it. Look, the leaders that are highly effective, that are highly efficient, that are highly productive, they're the ones that live and die by the calendar. I remember many years ago when I first started network marketing, I got, we, my, my buddy brought in a two-star general to talk to us about leadership. He had 90 minutes. I think 80 to 85 of those minutes where he was talking about calendar planning. And it hit me how important it is to live by your calendar. <clears throat> now, am I saying live by it every second? No. Am I saying when you're off work or you're not, you know, at the office or, you know, working with your team? Are you, do you have to live by it? Like, hey, let's go ride bikes for 90 minutes and then let's go, you know, to the gym for 50 minutes. No, like you can free flow all, you know, when you're off. But when you're engaged and you're looking to move the needle, you have to know what those targets are and it's got to be scheduled. I was just at an event, Keith Cunningham's event. It's called the Four Day MBA, right? It was like eight grand to go to. It was eight grand well worth spent. And so he brought up a concept. He said, you know, if I'm holding this, this ball right here, right? This is a little cool ball my son likes to play with. So I got this cool light up ball. So what happens is most people, what they do is they run around and they, they touch this and they touch this and they touch that, but they don't pick something up and move it. Right, and I've been really kind of playing with this philosophy with clients like, what, you, what are you moving today? What are you moving on Monday? What are you moving this week? What's really gonna move the needle forward instead of just touching everything and feeling like, oh wow, I was so busy this week. Yeah, but you were also on freaking productive, right? So you gotta know that target and it's gotta be on your calendar so you know what to do and when to do it. Right, because what most people think is they have this belief system, I've just seen this belief show up so many times, is I'm in control, I'll get it all done. These simple beliefs are what screw people up, or I'll do it later. 
right? And like, these are some of the common beliefs that screw people up. And the last component, and I'll keep this video short, the last component is you gotta say, what are you willing to sacrifice, right? If you're looking to get in the best shape of your life, you might have to sacrifice sleep. You might have to sacrifice watching TV. You might have to sacrifice um, playing and scrolling on Facebook or TikTok or Instagram or whatever, right? You may need to sacrifice some of those things that you're addicted, but we also want to make sure that you are clear that you're willing to give that up. Because if you're saying, okay, I'll sacrifice sleep, and then when the alarm goes off at four in the morning, you're like, oh, no way. You're not clear on that. Like you're not committed to that, right? So we want you to be really committed. What is something that you're going to commit to that you know when push comes to shove, you're willing to sacrifice it, right? I had to sacrifice going out with friends all the time and spending money when I was 30, $40,000 in credit card debt. What are you willing to sacrifice? Because I want you to know it's not always gonna be this way, right? You might be building your business and you're putting in 60, 80 hour weeks but it's not always gonna be this way. If you're learning to pick things up and move them instead of just touching everything. If you get clear on these are my outcomes for the week, these are my revenue producing activities I'm hitting first thing Monday and I'm hitting that. And you know you're willing to sacrifice sleep, you're willing to sacrifice partying, you're willing to sacrifice even time with the family if that's necessary. It's not always necessary, right? But what are you willing to sacrifice? Sometimes you do, but you gotta be clear on that. I'm telling you, you do this first thing, you do this today, or you do this first thing Monday morning, I'm telling you, watch how much more productive your week is. And when you think about, am I touching something, all these little things, or am I grabbing something and moving it? Am I touching something and moving it? Because if you're not moving it, the needle's not going anywhere. It's just you're touching everything around the needle and it doesn't really move. So if you're looking to be highly productive this week, Play with these three things right now, and I promise you, if you watch yourself throughout the week, you're gonna be way more productive than you were before. So, hey, if you wanna be given a shout out, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and click that notification button on the side too, so you get notified when these videos come out. And then most importantly, make sure you share, like, hit that like button, share this video, comment on this video, I'd love to know how did it work out for you. Share with people who you know need to actually hear this content because even though it's so simple and yet so powerful, most people don't do it. And they wonder why a year goes by and they're like, oh, I'll do it later, or two years go by, or five years, and you're just like, where, where have I been? So make sure you commit. And if you're one of those people you feel like you're just totally stuck, you feel like you're just touching a bunch of things, you don't know what things that actually need to be moved, well then reach out and what we'll do, you can go in the description below to the um, coaching application, fill out the coaching application, work with myself or my wife or maybe one of our high performance coaches that's on our team. They would love to support you through this journey because I'm telling you, touching things isn't gonna really catapult you forward. You're not gonna excel at the level in which you want. You're not gonna rise to that next level. So if you have someone that's looking out for you, that has your back, that's looking at all your blind spots, that's how you accelerate. So fill that bad boy out, someone will get reaching out to you. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great week, be productive, go move shit, don't touch shit. Have a great one, see you guys.